even though the publicly traded biotechs have been taking a beating lately, despite today's rebound in the group, the fact is that many of these companies are still revolutionizing the way we treat all sorts of diseases. That's why when I see a privately held biotech doing exciting work, well, I gotta bring it to your attention. Consider Intarsia Therapeutics. It's a privately held biotech. It's come up with a totally disruptive technology for treating Diabetes type 2, okay? A disease that afflicts tens of millions of Americans. One of the problems with diabetes drugs is that they need to be injected, which means a lot of patients either don't take them regularly or don't take them at all. Intarsia has come up with what I think is a brilliant workaround. A little two-inch rod that's implanted just under the patient's skin delivers a steady dose of extenate, uh, stenotide. That's a major diabetes uh, type 2 drug over the course of the whole year. Rather than have to get injections once a week, the company announced some positive phase three trial results uh, in their lead product just back in August. And then last month, Intarsi acquired Foundry Pharmaceuticals. That's a company that's doing complementary tre uh, treating obesity and diabetes. So let's take a closer look with Kurt Graves. He's the chairman, president, and CEO of Intarsi Therapeutics. Learn more about his company and this game changing way of treating diabetes. Mr. Graves, welcome back to Mad Money. Thanks for having me. Good to be here. All right, Kurt. Now, uh, there's a company, Merck, big company, reports next week, very good company. Yes. You're head-to-head -head against them. Yes. All right, so Intarsia against Merck. Why should I ever think that Intarsia, who many of us viewers don't know, yes. could ever beat Merck, the great Merck? Well, Merck has the biggest oral pill for type 2 diabetes right. on the market right now. It's a medicine that sells between 6 and $7 billion a year. Gigantic. So we thought with our new disruptive once or twice yearly therapy, we ought to just go head to head in a clinical trial. We're still in investigational therapy, right. but we thought while we're still in the clinic, before we get to market, it would be good to run a head to head study over a year and show what our medicine does against theirs. And when we did that trial, we saw over the course of a year, our drug against theirs head to head, we nearly doubled the glucose reductions and tripled the weight loss compared to that medicine. Okay, so I read this, I read your release, and I said to myself, all right, in a, in a Perfect world, I would say, okay, I, I don't want to use this Merck product anymore. I want to use what Intarsia has, but that's not the way it works, right? No, because there, today there's only pills and there, there's only injections right. for, for type 2 diabetes. It, we can't get yours. I have to wait till the FDA so to does another to test, FDA. two more tests, whatever. Yeah, hopefully not. Yep. And why is that? Because it's such an alien thing to put something in your body? Why don't you show me yeah. how alien it really is? What do we got here? Okay, so we've got, right now this is called Buddy. This is what we train our nurses and doctors in our clinical trials on before they ever touch a human being with our product. Really okay. important. When you're introducing a n totally new way of treating right. diseases, you better train people how to do it. So what we have here is our little tiny osmotic mini pump. This contains up to one year of a diabetes medicine. How is medicine. that possible? I mean, you know, must <laughs> it, I would assume that the, the amount of medicine would be like this big. Our chemists are amazing. So they figured out not only how to put a year's worth of medicine in here, but the real trick, Jim, was how to keep it stable at body temperatures for three and a half years. It's like the holy grail of peptide okay. chemistry. Once they mastered how to keep it stable at body temperatures and put a year's worth of it in here, okay. it's only 60 micrograms per day. If I put 60 micrograms on the table, you and I couldn't see it. Right. That's what's coming out of this once a day okay, for so, a full year. Okay, so, all right, so let me see, but Buddy, and we're gonna do this to Buddy. This is Buddy. All right, <laughs> good Buddy. So what you do. Chief. Chief. Yeah. So this would be just like a normal doctor's office. The patient would okay. come in, right. lay down on the exam table just like they always do, mm -hmm. and a nurse or a doctor can do this. So we train nurses and doctors. Okay, let me see. To do this. All you do is you first numb the patient up so they don't feel anything. I actually have one. You remember last time yes, I was here? Yes, I mean, it's still just there. I, I have it's my, in uh, there. It's a placebo pump, yeah, okay. but I wanted to know exactly right. what this was like myself. Do you ever feel it? You never feel it at you all. You never. You don't even know. It's like, like, you know, boom, like, how you doing, I work buddy? out all the time. You don't feel okay. it. All right, go ahead. All right? Go ahead. So all you do is you numb the patient up in the place where you're going to put it in the abdomen. You okay. put it right under the skin. Let's go to work. All we do is we take a little tiny poke of the skin. You never cut. You just break the surface of the skin just like that. Okay. Okay. Patient's numb, you're not feeling it. Then you give our placement tool okay. right here with a little tiny mini pump inside it. All right. It's right in here. Yep, I'm there. You put it right here, okay? And you gently just put it right under the skin, just like this, right up to that line. Okay. And then you pull back this blue tab and voila, you've just left a little tiny osmotic mini pump right in the skin. Oh, so let me right ask there. you. Okay, you, let's say there's a vote of all the millions of people who have this. Yes. They see that. How many millions do you think would go for your way versus the, uh, dose, the constant dose? Well, if you ask a patient with diabetes, would you rather wake up every day and take an injection and self-inject your yeah, medicine every I mean. day? Right. Or do this potentially once a year? In our market research, I'm going to give you my opinion. Right. We've done tons of market research with thousands of patients. Right. 
the majority of them would prefer to do this before injecting one. I agree. Now, how about today. Foundry? How did this new, uh, this, new uh, uh, this acquisition, how does that fit in? Well, our first treatment in this little tiny pump is for type 2 diabetes. Right. So now that we've got this platform really figured out, what we're doing is we're building a pipeline of once-a-year medicines in big chronic diseases. So we acquired... Central nervous system? Possibly. CNS, yeah. uh, autoimmune inflammatory diseases right. like rheumatoid arthritis, right. obesity, and other combinations of two drugs in the pump for diabetes. So what our company is about is being one of the most disruptive and innovative I, biotechs to go after the biggest diseases on the planet. Well, Kurt, I got to tell you, people are going to see this. They're going to say, why can't I have it? And that's what you have to hope because they all want it. We're about a year and a half to two years away. All but right. Coming soon, hopefully. Fair enough. That's Kurt Graves, chairman, president, and CEO of Intarsia Therapeutics. But he can't even feel it. Mad Money's back after the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.